number 987.52 or some shit. I don't know. How many times do you think we've been here? Uh, I can say we've lost too many times. That's, that's probably We've yeah. lost. It just, it's got to change. It, it, it may, it may and it may not. I, I, you know, philosophy always had is you can't always lose, but you can't always win. But I'm starting to, starting to uh, question, can you always lose? I don't know what other hobby we could have. Maybe I have to start looking for a man that has a lot of money that wants to do nothing but play. Play marbles? <laughs> well, yeah, what are you guys going to do? Wrestle around in the bed sheets? You'll be tired after about four minutes. Oh, Bobby, just getting in the bed tired me off. Yeah, damn it. But you remember the old days, Ma. Oh, well, I do. I, don't we all? That's right. Sometimes that's what you got is those memories, those fond memories. Yeah, that's and, and it's better to think of all them good memories and forget them old ones because the old ones... They can't help but drag you down. And, sure. and it's so heavy on you. And then your mind starts playing tricks on you and you think you're depressed and nothing's going right. Mm. The best thing is just think of the good times. You don't forget everything. Remember the good times and, and the stuff that we can do. A couple of things I've been doing uh, in the last few weeks is transferring all my old home videos over to... To, uh, and it's wild how you just forget, you know, when you're in your 20s, you're on the muscle, you know, you're, as a guy, your testosterone's high, you know, it's, you gotta go make money, you gotta go, 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 and then, you know, you get to 40 and 50, you know, I'm touching 50 now, and you, you downshift a little bit, you don't have that spunk, you know, it's like, it's, it's funny, I'm looking at myself, I know it's me, but my mind, you know, like, you think you, you think you know it all, in the in your 20s and then you know you, you get to 30 and 40 and realize you don't know anything and um, you know I can't speak for 50s 60s because I'm not you know I haven't been there yet but you just you, you know you you you're just so young and everything's quick you know you're moving quick you're, you're talking quick <coughs> and uh, it's just humbling to kind of see like where you come from you know because in my mind it's different right you don't you only remember the last few years really strong but then when you watch like when I watched the Vegas trip with you and John and Skeeter and you know like even watching you you know you were so you were young uh, and then uh, I mean at that time you were 58 so that's 30 years ago already and uh, your voice was high-pitched it was uh, it was just wild this you knew it was you, but it just didn't—it just didn't seem like you, you know. So sometimes you forget how fast, you know, 10, 15, 20 years goes, and how much you actually change. You think you've been the same person your whole life, but you haven't been. When you get 65, though, then you start slowing down. And, she at 65, yeah. well, 35. Damn. Well, I, I, I think I, I, I didn't feel it much until I was well after the rep. And, and a lot of it could be mental too because I didn't have to go to work, everything was done. Yeah. And what else is there to do? I didn't have to have the energy, so that might play a lot. Uh, yeah. I mean, when you, were, when you were growing up, when you were young, what is it like? Did you ever sit there and think, like, oh, I want to do this or I want to do that? Did you ever? What, what I was, wanted to grow up. You want to get older? Yeah. But, and, and you know what? That would have been nice. I mean, what I know today, and pretend I'm just getting married and having a child, I think it's been so much different. But then again, you know, yeah, yeah. that's how we learn by going through. That's right. Yeah, you got to have your, your tools. You know, I mean, it's like I was chatting with somebody the other day, and it's like every time, like you, you think you want everything to go right all the time, and. Um, but every time something goes wrong, you put something more in your tool bag. And so you're learning from your, your negative experiences in life. But we all want it to be positive. You never want to lose, right? You never want to be wrong. Or, but, and we all think we're right because we, we don't set out to be wrong. Right, right. And, but, and you, can't, you can't judge somebody for feeling that way, though. 
I know, mean, that's where they're at, right? Yes. Yeah. You don't know any better. So, you know, when growing into the household that I grew up into, and I can only speak from one dimension, but you know, when when uh, you know, in the environment you grow up into, it's a negative. You know, downtown Lansing was was just a negative environment with a lot of stuff going on, whether it was drugs or hookers and pimps and all that. And you don't realize it because it was just life. We're playing triple triple. We need a three of clubs on an ace or a two, three, or four. Well, we take the three. Ah. They, they pay the same as a royal in this game. You can see. We would have took the two, but we want you got to have it with the ace. Triple, triple. Triple, triple, deuce and an ace. Triple, triple, fours in the hopper. Cut a straight flush. Well, I had an ace of hearts and a jack of hearts. And uh, yeah, we'll take it. I had an ace of hearts and a jack of hearts, and I threw it out. Uh, usually, I would never make that play for the inside, for the two, one, two, a straight flush. Never. Never. But I did this time, and it worked out. I'll see that hand again in four decades. We're going after the Royal Flush here. It's a progressive quarter machine, 11. It's at 11.65. And of course, I'm still playing triple, triple. Miles cracking, silly over born poker dollars. She's had two four guys to keep her in the game. But Ma is pissed. She wants that Royal. Oh, coming in and taking free play and getting out of here. That's what I'm talking about. Take the 250 and getting the buffer, putting the ultimate X in the headlock and just pushing them into the dirt. <laughs> Come on, show me a four in the flash double double. I don't play double double often. All the sevens when you don't need them. Put a big hand on the bottom with the jacks. Nope. All right, let's go. Royal flush gal right here is worth 14 six. 14,600. Let's go. Ultimate X. Royal flush down. Not today. I almost left that queen out of there too. Alright, here we go. $2,800 a hand dealt. Royal flush. Come on, ace in your face one time with a kicker, $500. Oh. <laughs> Took to 200 with the kicker. You're looking at 500, 2,000 quarters. We'll take the ace. We love the kicker, though. We do love the kicker. See if we can show you a haymaker in the next three hands. This was a free play day today. Oh, you got it again? I was trying to go back to pause back. Oh. You know, surprising full house. Ma came in. Straight flush times five. My nose. Oh, Misty Queen. Playing shotgun recording here at the fire table, so can't pull it out quick. Each queen would have been eight hundred dollars. Oh, king back to back, first time ever? Oh, no, that was the queen we needed. Okay, uh, I, uh, correction on the last game, I thought I was playing bonus poker deluxe, but I was playing double double, so all four of a kinds are not 400, but these ones would be at the threes. Yeah, 
Don't worry about it. I'm gonna just drop the five there. Or the king. Five king, what's the difference? All right, guys, here we go. We are gonna go, where are we gonna go? Gun Lake today? You going Gun Lake, Ma? <laughs> We're going back to Battle Creek. Battle Creek, Michigan. We're Michigan's. gonna play three lines. Uh-oh. Bonus deluxe. Oh. Quarter. Uh, are you kidding me? Well, I won Jesus. last time, so I want to start out big. If it's not good, then I'll go. Ma's playing quarters while I'm over here nickel bagging it. <laughs> I had somebody ask, asked me uh, a few days ago, actually, they are like, why do you still play nickels? A variation of reasons, but I'll tell you the first three, basically. So, uh, it depends on where I'm at and what I'm doing. So, typically speaking, like if I'm playing at, let me just say them, fire keepers, uh, because I've been getting wrecked there for two years, uh, and the comp system, I mean, it's the one we visit the most, but the comp systems are weak. I, you know, I get—I think I get $30 free play a week, which is terrible. Um, so I feel like I'll be all right if 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 they if they were bump me up and give and and at least let. Me, but third, when you think about it, for the average bet, if your average bet in video poker, I think the average bet's about two fifty to three dollars, somewhere in that range. You know, typically speaking, for you know, carnival games maybe a touch higher, but um, so if you're talking, let's just say it's three dollars. So you're talking about giving me ten free pokes. Well, I could play twenty hands in a minute. So uh, you're telling, you're talking about me walking in the door with my bankroll, and you'll give me one minute of action for nothing. Nah, come on. Nah. So that's one of the answers. The other one is too is you know I have been uh, on, on video poker I've been on a bad run so you kind of gotta you know it'll pop out but it hasn't popped out so I'm playing that caution and uh, you know so like typically when I go to Vegas I'll play a little bit higher because for one they pad me with free play out there I mean they they're open arms free play I love it and two uh, you know I don't mind you know I don't mind being a little bit more assertive when uh, you know when it's a give and take relationship instead of all take so and the third reason is this it depends on what game you play so if i'm playing single line you'll never see me play nickels uh, very seldom do i play quarters on single line nothing wrong with it i just you know just quarter action just is just isn't real enticing unless it's maybe triple triple uh, i don't have a problem playing that game at quarters because if you guys know triple triple that that game will take it but um you know if you're playing ultimate x and bonus streak you got to be careful right so that's why in those games i and i can have the entertainment still playing at nickels so if you don't like watching it hey i get it because there's some you know but you got to understand what the bet is right so if you're playing nickels and you're playing 10 hands, it's a $5 bet. It's not nickels, it's $5. So $5 is still $5 in the world. You push the button, boom, you get a gutter and you're at $10 negative. And then you're at $15 negative. So you see what I'm saying? It's like, it's not just nickels. It's whatever the, the, the to, yeah, the total of the denomination. So, um, and then, you know, but I get it because he, I was also going to say this is in my, so I was looking in my, a couple days ago, my unique viewers. What a unique viewer is in YouTube is it's somebody who comes back and watches you and um, and they don't subscribe. So they come back, they like the channel, but they don't subscribe. And I not very seldom ever throw this out here because you know, if you wanna subscribe, you do. If you don't, you don't. Subscribe doesn't cost you one thing. Subscribe in a, mem in, a, in a channel member is a whole totally different thing. If you're a channel member, you you put it at least five dollars or ten dollars to your to the person that you like. You, you you support. You say, hey, we're gonna support you. Boom, we put that up. I do have channel members. I have a ton of you guys. Appreciate every one of you. But to subscribe doesn't cost you anything. But what subscribing does for me is typically people you'll hear. You'll see it on some comments, they'll be like, oh man, you should have more subscribers than what you have. I don't ask for subscribers every video, 
but it's a knowing fact, 100%, everybody who asks for subscribers, every video gets a ton more subscribers than somebody who doesn't ask for them. I just put the content out there. Hey, if you wanna push the subscribe button, you do. If you don't, hey, I get it. You just don't want to. Maybe you're watching on a TV, you know, maybe not. But if you can consider going to your phone or your iPad or somewhere and just hitting subscribe, what it does for me is it allows me, op it opens up different doors to where, uh, you know, maybe I would be able to go live at a, I remember about two years ago, a lady asked me, she was like, um, what's your subscriber count? My subscriber count wasn't much in comparison to other people in the gambling space. And she said, well, uh, and I had said, well, Brian Christopher, I noticed had went there and did a live stream. And she was like, oh, well, yeah, he has XYZ subscribers. And uh, and she said, but you don't. <laughs> you mother. So anyways, that's what I'm saying is it allows me to have a little bit more, if you want to call it elbow grease room. Um, bragging rights, that doesn't matter to me at all. You know, it's just what what is is sometimes people do look at the sub count and they say oh okay he has this so that means he's got some pull and blah 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 so if you're already watching it if you come back two or three times all i'm saying is this consider hitting the subscribe button because it does help we're and, gonna win today and my kiddo's ready to rock we'll see you guys next look at where we're at keepers losers weepers we ain't losing today she all right let's go here kings are wild. Kings are not wild. Jacks are wild right there one time. I mean, how many blanks can you actually do? No queens either? No queens. That's a straight go. How many fours can you get? Oh, there's one at least. Forget the multiplier. Good night. Yes, yeah. Pink is not bad. Yeah. It's all here, guys. Look at that. Okay, we've got some sixes we're gonna roll into here. Nah, yeah, playing double double. Six is no good. But fours are not okay. 
We're playing double double bonus. You know, that's my right there. Yeah, so how you doing, man? All right, everything good? Uh, appreciate it, man. I haven't seen any of your videos in a while yet. I know you're putting them up there. Yeah, we got fours right here. We're looking for a way to kick her on a double double. You're, you're working out. Oh, no. No. You My boy, where you place. from? Cliff, up to Tecumseh. Tecumseh, there we go. Oh, yeah. It's all it's here, fire keepers. Yeah. Let's go fours again one time. No. Fours are not on fire, I repeat. They are not on fire. Maybe I'll get me something. Deuce is wild up at the Ascent Bar. So playing a little poker here at the bar at, uh, at Soaring Eagle. And uh, you can see I went to make a hold. You can see that I made the tens. I made the hold on the tens, and uh, so we're gonna see what they're gonna do there. They, um, I made the hold on the tens, the button went off, and we'll see what happens, see how they handle it. All right, and they're, uh, they're gonna pay me on that hand, so you can see uh, the hand, uh, you know, it made a difference because the, the 10 didn't hold, and of course, uh, you know, bonus poker deluxe is $120 hand, so. Tell me what you guys would have did. You know, that other 10 would have been right up here in the middle hand. And, you know, the difference of uh, 45 $4.50 or $120, that's what we're talking about. So, you know, boys over here at Soaring Eagle did take care of it. So we uh, we appreciate that. And, uh, you know, playing up at the bar sometimes isn't as, as luxury as you would think because all the beers, uh, all the beers are being spilled on it. And, uh, but that's what it is. It's all here. Come on, get your kings, man. You got a 10 time multiplier. Let's go. What do you got? King 10 there? Yeah. Go to work on them for a $4,000 royal. One time, no times. Ma, yeah, ma. I must have bring you guys into a little bit of. I might as well do something over here. Bring you guys into a little Ultimate X here. Bonus poker deluxe, of course. This poker deluxe is not working, so we might as well go to double double. See if they can throw some aces on the bottom row. Keep those deuces for you guys scoring at home. There's all the aces, of course. Why he gets it at the dime version. Got aces up top. Uh, yeah, a pair. Trying to hang on here. Just let go all of a sudden, just let it go. What you got, Mod times eight? Come on, aces. Aces. Diamond. A couple diamonds. You'll take them. I you like can get diamonds. two of them. How about one? All right, let's grab these twos real quick on the bottom row. Oh, 